Hey guys, this is Ubercuber, and today I'm going to be showing you all of the PLL algorithms that I use uh, for all the 21 PLLs, and I'll be showing you a little bit of the finger tricks. I'm not going to go too in depth, and then I'll show it to you slowly and somewhat quickly. Uh, so let's just get started. For the AA perm, it looks like this. I recognize it where I have this block here, and the sticker that is opposite is this one. The other A perm, the sticker that is opposite is this one and the V-perm, which looks similar to this, both of them are opposite. So I differentiate it by just this one is opposite, and I do the algorithm X, R prime, U, R prime, D2, R, U prime, R prime, D2, R2. A little bit faster, that looks like this. And something important to note is that for the finger trick, I do a double flick, which helps a lot more than just doing the single flick, because that takes up a bit more time. For the AB perm, I use two different algorithms. Uh, from this angle, I do this algorithm, X, R2, D2, R, U, R prime, D2, R, U prime, R. And I recognize it by the sticker being opposite. And then from this angle, I do X prime, R, U prime, R, D2, R prime U R D2 R2. Okay, so I'm going to show you the E perm, and I don't really feel like saying the algorithms anymore, so I'm just going to put them on the screen with the uh, as I go through each case. So for the E perm, I recognize it that there are no corners correct, and you need to swap these two and these two. And for this case, I do this algorithm. And a bit quicker. For the UA perm, I do two different algorithms. Uh, the main one that I use goes like this. But if I come from an algorithm that uses a lot of R moves for OLL or a COLL or something, and my hand is already in this position, I'll just go into this algorithm. For the UB perm, I only use one algorithm. And it goes like this. For the H perm, this is pretty easy to recognize. Same with the U perms, I didn't really explain those much. Uh, they're just all the opposite edges. So you just have to swap these two and these two, and the algorithm goes like this. For the Z perm, I use two different algorithms. If I get it in this case, where I'm going to have to, like, to set these up, I have to do a U2, and I have them on the left and front, then I will do this algorithm. However, if I have them on the front and right, especially in this AUF, I will do this algorithm. Next case is the JA perm, and I do the standard algorithm for this. However, if I get it from this angle, I will do this algorithm sometimes. For the JB perm, this is one of my favorite PLLs. I use the algorithm that almost everyone uses, and it goes like this. And of course, this is very important because otherwise you're going to do, and that's not as fast as that. The T-perm, I have two algorithms for this depending on the AUF. This one is the one that everyone knows. I'm not going to go over recognition, this is one of the most common cases. And then when I have the U2 AUF, so I would have to end up doing this like that. Um, I do a slightly different algorithm. It starts out the same, but then I do this instead of that. So it may seem like it doesn't flow well, but it actually flows pretty well. For the RB perm, I use this algorithm. It looks like this. You have the block over here, headlights, and adjacent.
for the RA perm, it looks like this. You have the headlights here, and then the block is on the right this time instead of the left. I hold it from this angle, and I do this algorithm. And it flows pretty nicely. The F perm, you have this big block right here, and then these two corners are swapped, and these two edges are swapped. I do this algorithm. For the GA perm, uh, I use the alg that most people use. It goes like this. For the GB perm, I use two different algs. If it's at this angle, where the bar is in front, and then it comes out this way, I do this algorithm. And this is pretty much the same algorithm if I get it in the back, but it's just from a different angle for the first couple moves. But I do this algorithm. For the GC perm, I hold it at this angle. There's a bar here and headlights over here. And I do this algorithm. And for the GD permutation, this is the last of the G perms, I have the headlights over here and I have this piece right here with the bar, and I do this algorithm. It's rotationless, and I like this version. And fast, that looks like this. And finally, we have the diag swap cases. Uh, the E perm is technically part of that, but it doesn't have the edges in it. Um, so these are the ones with the diagonal corner and edge swaps. So the first one is the V-perm. The V-perm looks like this. You have this bar, or I'm sorry, this block, 2x2 two two block, and then these are both opposites, so you can recognize it like that. And then I have two algorithms for this. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to use more of the time, but here they are. A little bit quicker, that looks like this. And then the second one, you rotate and hold it like this, and then you do this algorithm. Then we have the Y perm, and you can recognize this by there are two bars here, and then there's a piece here where these stickers are both opposite. So what you're doing is swapping these two corners and these two edges. So the algorithm I do goes like this. That's important to do the F prime with your index finger. And then fast. Finally, we have the N perms. The first one is the NA perm. And I do two algorithms for this. If my hand is in this position from the OLL, I will do this. It's R, U, R prime, U, and then just a J perm. And then finish how it looks after you do that to undo the setup moves and faster it looks like this but then my main algorithm for this is uh, where you rotate and this especially is helpful with this AUF and it's much faster in my opinion so you do this So that's how that one looks. And then finally we have the NB perm, and it looks like this. And I only do one algorithm for this. I rotate and I go like this. 